Have you ever struggled with a lot of papers? Have you ever struggled to organize your stuff? Have you ever struggled to find papers you are looking for but you can't find them because your room is just full of papers? Trying to study, trying to organize your work stuff. I'll show you using the GoodNotes app how you can organize all of this better, the paper and notes and stuff in your life organized. Okay, so as you can see here, I have created some categories. 2016, I started with this, semester one, semester two, and then this year, semester one. I've put in all of my subjects so I can easily access any of the notes that I need to at any time. This is what it looks like. Very, very organized and easy to find anything I want to. The first thing I want to show you is how you can import your notes, maybe a PDF. Our lecturer has uploaded some PDF files for us. If you just go into your web browser and you click on this on an iPad, then at the top you can see if you click anywhere on the page, it gives you these options, open in good notes or more. So you can open it in anything you want, but we want to go and open it in GoodNotes. Then it will automatically open GoodNotes and ask you to pick a category. You have to make sure that you have your categories created before you do this. I'm going to import mine into this subject. And then there you have it. You can go ahead and you can use this file to write on, make your own notes and do whatever you want with it. If you want to add an entire PDF file, um, it might not be on your device. If you want to add a PDF file above or below any of these pages, I'm going to show you how you can do that. So if you have this page, let's say we want to add an entire PDF with maybe a few pages below this page. So what, you, what you're going to do so you're going to go to your files and let's say we want to add this notes to below that page. Your GoodNotes app has to be open where you want to import this file. So you can go and open this file, say open in GoodNotes, and then it gives you uh, this options. You can either import above this page or below this page, or if you just go and create a new document, it would be the same as what we just did. Import below then it inserts that entire PDF below the page. The other thing I want to show you guys is this tiny scanner. This you can use, it's free, but you can pay, down here you can see it's 80 Rand, to have unlimited documents in here, batch mode scanning and cloud servers and cloud servers and airprint. Uh, I don't feel it's worth buying this, except if you really want to keep all of your files, just scan it in and leave it here. You can have two files at a time but every time you scan one in you can go and open it in GoodNotes and then delete it again so you don't have to keep your files here so you don't have to pay for this app all right so you go and tap the plus button then you see, you see all of these pages over here such a mess really 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 a mess so i'm just gonna go i still have to scan all of this this in so i can organize it you just go take anything, scan it in. You can reset the sizes of this to get your file like you want. And then you can go and you can select what size it is, A4, letter, legal, whatever. And you can also rotate this while scanning it in. Or you can retake it if you're not happy with your shot. So then you go click on next. And then there's a lot of options. You can either have it like a PDF scan file. You can have it as the picture just that is, as was in black and white or in color. And you can make it darker or lighter. I don't know what that button does. And then you just say, yes, I want that. You can click up here to rename it. And you can call it what, what you want to. And then you can add another one, you can scan in another one, 
or you can add a photo from your library. Then you can go and click this square with a little thing that shows upwards and you can say open in and then you just scroll to GoodNotes. Then you can either also import it above or below or you can just say create new document and add it to where you want to and it will be created. You can have all your stuff very, very organized very quickly, very efficiently and you can easily find any of the notes. No more clutter of, clutters of paper and just a big mess because I, I really had a problem with this. I could never find my notes, always struggled to start studying because I had to search for so many stuff before I started studying. But this really made my life easier and I'm really happy with it and yeah, it's, it's good, it's really good. If you have Adobe, Adobe Acrobat on your iPad, you can, I'll leave a link in the description where you can go and download that. You plug your iPad into your computer and you open iTunes and you go to your device then scroll to apps and you can go and click on adobe acrobat and you can just drag and drop your pdf files in there and then from adobe acrobat you can go and you can go and click you can go and click this square with the arrow and you can just say open in good notes and you can go select the category where you want to import it and there you go very very easy very very neat to organize i really do appreciate if you would go and subscribe to my channel it will help me a lot thank you thank you guys so much for watching hope you have a wonderful wonderful day and then i'll see you in the next video cheers